Hello, everybody. I am happy to be a part of another um, Blitz Bounder competition. I hope I will do better than the last uh, edition, but it was still not the bet. I won in the first round. I got eliminated in the second round. This time it's going to be tougher than in the last year edition, but I hope it's going to be at least entertaining, and that's what, what is my plan for today. Uh, so here we go. My opponent is uh, Ariantari. So I don't think I am a favorite. He is very talented, young player from Norway. So I do believe it's going to be a very even match. At least that's what I am hoping for. Uh, and we'll see what, what it's going to bring. I did some short preparation, but it was really, really short. So I'm afraid I, I will be the side which is prepared a bit worse, but we'll see. Uh, I hope my opponent is going to comment massively, because that was something strange to me in the last edition, that some people were commenting uh, like all the time, and some were like a bit lazy. And I felt it's kind of unfair that, that some people are trying more and some people are trying less. Okay, here I gave him a poem for, what, for whatever it brings. So we will see. I mean, I have some queen c7 now. I can also take. There is more than one interesting option now. Uh, but he played it very, very quickly. I'm afraid it can be some real prep. Oh, that's a bluff. A bluff is a quite a decent option as well. If I take on f6, he plays g takes, queen c7, queen d7, and I can't see any follow up. So c3, he takes only four. That's really not going to work. Okay, I think I should take. He takes g takes, maybe. What now if I play queen? C7, what's his plan? What, what I don't get? Is he giving me a check on before? I doubt it's gonna work. He thinks it's a not a bad sign, I would say. You can play knight d7, queen takes, rook d8, but it looks more than nice for me. So maybe after all, he was also not preparing that much. That's the good news. Okay, knight d7 is probably a good move. What else he might potentially play? Bishop b4, c3, take, take, king e2, taking on a1 doesn't seem like an option. I have multiple checks. Okay, so he's taking his time and that's more than good. I don't know why he didn't take with a pawn to f6. Now it's quite a curious question to me whether now he's commenting uh, or thinking. Probably commenting because otherwise he would he would already have played something, or he is just regretting that he didn't take and he takes a six. In the last year edition, when I played uh, round one or two with uh, my opponents, Emilio Cordova in the first round and Etienne Bacro in the second round, I was always in time trouble because I was trying to comment a lot and that was creating problems. Now I shouldn't make the same mistake. And my friend Hari Krishna Tentala told me to talk less. It's difficult. I like talking, but, but maybe his advice was actually more to the point than anything else. OK, castle is pretty natural. Now it seems like knight d7 is the only move again. I don't really see anything else. To him. Okay, that's just promising. Very, very promising. I have one minute up and position should be should be winning. Even if I wouldn't win two pawns, I would have a compensation because of this h5 pawn and with king probably, but when when I am 
having two bishops and I will have just some pawns up, it should be just a huge advantage. Okay, he can okay, he can make a castle, but now I have white choice probably. Knight five is not really coming. Or it could be some trick, but I don't know what for. So I should probably try to develop normally and that's it. I don't know whether C3 is a good move or not. He's going to play knight to E5 maybe. Okay, C3 shouldn't be bad. Bishop goes to C2 and everything should be more or less solid. Okay, maybe I was a bit too cautious, but still my advantage should be huge. I like the time control that it's three plus two this year, not three plus zero, because this three plus zero was a way too much in my opinion. It was like giving some total chaos in the crucial moments, which was a bit destroying a very nice idea of this tournament because I like it very much. Okay, now I really gave some part of my advantage away. It's still a huge advantage, but okay, he has some little chances here and there. Maybe I'm threatening actually to take on f4, but it's always a question whether you want this kind of game or that. I will try to be very, very cautious not to give him too many chances. Okay, now I, I of course blunder it. I thought I can take with a queen, but luckily it's a good position anyway. Just a point on up. Okay, queen c6 should be enough, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't necessary. Ah, he cannot go knight c5. I made a trick. I was not aware of this fact, but now it's Christmas time. Three points up or so, I think it shouldn't be that difficult to win this one. Opponents offer a draw, that's not what I wanted, but it's a new play zone, so I think. I don't know what I should exactly do now. I should probably uh, press some copy you know, and paste the second link. There's a suggestion, so I should look for it. Ah, yeah. Copy and paste the second link. Ah, okay, we have the game. He already has started. Before I go for e6. We will see whether he did some preparation or not. If he did, it can be unpleasant. My prep is not special. Build this h4. Okay, this one I don't know. It can be very strong. It can be nothing special. This position, I don't know why. Maybe I can try to go for some endgame now, but the other times I have this slightly worse all the time. What are the alternatives? If because I am considering taking on on d4, six. Okay, let's go for it. If I am surprised, I shouldn't really do too much of experiments. It's probably slightly worse, but if you played it that quickly, maybe it makes some sense to go for some simplifications. Okay, this is a pass for white, but on the other hand, I believe I should be able to, to keep it with a precise play. I don't like h5, 
I think it was a bit too premature. If I would be able to make E5 working quickly, maybe it wouldn't be that bad. But that's gonna be a piece of cake as well. Yeah, he should have played it and he did. And now I should try to to work on E5 again, but anyway, but yeah, it's gonna be tough, maybe. Or should I bring my king to d6? It can be another option, actually. Okay, rook e7 shouldn't be that bad. I don't think I am blundering something, or am I? Actually, it could be a blunder. Ah, there is pawn on the four ending at the end, so if he takes twice to d5, I take on f4 and I am alive. I always try to remember not to put pieces on our unprotected squares, but well, forgetting. Ah, so maybe actually I could play some knight e4. That might have been a nice idea, actually. It's not that good. Okay, he's taking his time again. Those positions are usually better for white, but it's not so easy to, to, to win it. Whatever you do, I have some, some resistance I can, I can create. Okay, the question is knight e4, knight e4, rook f4, and I see no move for him. Nothing special, and then I should be able to hold it if there is no jump. So if he takes with a... Uh... Okay, I go for it. I see nothing better than this one. Here with a four, I thought... It's okay. I mean, I will be worse in some endgame, but it should be holdable. It's also not so clear how he's achieving the better end games because I can have some moves like e5 or whatever. So, well, it can, ah, bishop on f3 is hanging. That's what I completely uh, missed. I completely, completely. What, bishop d5? Okay, that's what about the rook? D7. Wait a second. Rook D7, Bishop E6, Bishop E6. That seems nice to me. Ah, Rook D7, he plays G5. And if I play Rook F7. Okay, I don't know. I will go for a solid option. That might have been interesting, but I didn't like this G5. I could be suffering there with some G6 stuff later on, but maybe I was just winning, I don't know. Okay, this should not be bad, maybe Rook F2 was better, but I am coming there anyway. You must be careful what is this move about. I think I am doing quite nice now. Yes, but now rook d2 is coming. Ah, rook d2 is nothing special. It's crazy. Okay, e5 shouldn't be that bad yet. I do think that if he plays one or two inaccurate moves, I can be better, but. Maybe it's just a wrong feeling. What if I play rook to e2, uh, to d2? Can he take? Really? Or rook e7 is another option. Maybe it's a safer one. And rook f4 next move. Ah, rook f4 is not an option. That's what I did miss, actually. B6, this is can be very risky. 
the rook c6 and rook now oh, king g5 rook g6 king h4 that's probably very bad yeah that was probably not the best move five played i don't see how to continue the game now King six and rook c6 maybe king goes to f7 with a full idea Ah, but rook f4 is never a threat. I misplayed it, surely. Rook have played also rook e6, and maybe that was the move I should have played. And now I am probably in a huge danger. I don't know yet how, but I don't like it. Okay, let's try with this move. What? I completely forgot that he could have checked me. Okay, I'll go there. And now should it should be working. That was my intention actually at the beginning, but I forgot that he might have checked me on c7 simply. Now I can play king f6 and that's fine, but okay, what's this? Okay, let's go with the pawn. So I'm just taking the pawn on g4. Now what's happening? Oh, 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 there is rook takes. What was that? It was control. I don't know what's happening, but ah, that was very bad. What I did? Ah, that must be lost. Probably some chances, but this is probably just over. Yes. Is there any trap? Maybe this one. I, no, okay. You just collect the pawn and I am resigning. So, so one one. Now I look for this another link and we go on for a revenge. Okay. And here we are. I don't know what I will play in the next game with black, I already started to think, but my opponent also decided to change the opening, so let's we see. Ah, bishop c5, there is a nice. We are now landing in a different opening, it's just uh, Berlin with a6 included. It's actually playable. I don't know what is the, what is the real difference in having pawn on a6 or on a7. Let's hope that I can make some use of, of it. Okay, queen e2, queen d2. Queen e2, let's try this one. Okay, that was stupid. Yeah, knight should go to e2 later on, so that was probably just a waste of time. I thought it could be played differently, but maybe it's more than okay. Yeah, now he goes to e6. That's that's just okay. Yeah, my queen on d2 is just misplaced, so that was just a mistake.
I think I have to go to my seat And maybe I am not forced to take immediately, but yeah, it's visible that I've missed, that I just lost this important 10 billions. I am surely not better, and I can be, I can be worse. Okay, not a big deal, but Okay, C4 I can go, but I don't like it. It would be worse probably anyway, whatever I do, so maybe knight G3 first. And so. Yeah, that's not the way you should play those openings. Sure, queen E1, queen D2. Uh, queen, D, queen, queen E2, queen D1, queen... No matter. Uh, okay, S5 is not really coming, but am I... Trying to go to a five with my own knight. It's question of this. And he's coming with his forces. So, okay, take on b5, take on e8, take on d6, take on d4. I try to do that. But the alternative, maybe knight d2 and c3, maybe I can do that. Ah, but my bishop has no square, so. With C3, I'm not threatening much. Maybe we should play some H4, H5, and some C3 to have a, unless I will go with Bishop on H6, sacrifice Bishop on Okay, Bishop C3 is a, which can happen some. Now what, B4, B, I mean B3 or C3, or take on B5, take on B5, C3, and try to play this position. B3 is going to be weak, but maybe it's not so simple to make use of it. Now c5 is a weakness also, so maybe even knight f5 would be my next move, if possible. This is a question of the move. If I take the tag with one of c, knight f3. And if I move back, what would we have to do? I don't know. I will go for for taking a knight of three. There are some weaknesses. Okay, bishop h6. Is it any good? He takes. I play knight of three. Pawns hanging. Knight of five. It can be also quite interesting. But okay, I think it's too much. I think it's not too much. I don't know. Maybe I was too pessimistic about this idea. Now, queen d6, knight f5 can be coming. Now I should do everything to make my knight as active as possible. And that's probably what I am hoping for. Now, pawn on c7 can be weak, so I can play rook a7 first, just to see what is his answer. And if his answer is rook c8, I think I'm doing fine. I might respond to c5. Knight f5 or knight h4 even is an option. Okay, I am happy with knight f5, but maybe, yeah, maybe it was much better actually to play this knight h4. Now he's having some c4, which I completely missed. It can be pretty strong actually. Or maybe still not that bad. But yeah, this is a decent move. Maybe knight d2, knight e4. I can now quickly adapt this rare root. Bishop on e7 is a tactical weakness. I should try to make a use of it. Okay, 
PC or he can play, but is it so good? I'm not so sure. The most important to me is that I have a knight on e4, rook on a7. I'm pretty happy with those pieces there. Aha, uh -huh. now he wants to be very unfriendly to me. Okay. But I can try to be more active also. Rook a6, bishop e3, king. I don't have rook d6. Okay, I should take them. There's something like this, but here I, I probably know better why should I be. I can be better also. It could be pretty drawish, but is it a drawish? Okay. Draw is a draw. I like draws lately. These my results. Results show so. Okay, it was game number three, so game number four is coming. It was maybe not a huge success, this French defense, but let's try it for once more. At this moment, I won't lose that much time. <laughs> the other question is if I will lose the game again. The other question, the crucial one, is that David Navarra are going to play again. It was so enjoyable to, to watch his games. I hope he's about to appear again. And now I could check if, if I was winning, if design, if it would happen again with this rook e7. Maybe after all, I was just winning there. No chance to try again. Is this B5 later so good? I'm not exactly I'm so sure. So I will start maybe with H6. Uh -huh. I must be careful not to lose the knight or bishop later. Yeah, that was probably, again, kind of wrong decision now. G4 and... Okay, maybe G4 is not that terrifying yet, but... But it's really coming. Now my knight should go to D6 quickly, so... G4, rook, C8, king defense the knight. King F8, probably. So maybe now King F8. Quickly, I should try to move my rook here so that my knight can go to d6. And if it's on d6, I think it should be a decent position. Actually, there is also another plan with bishop e8 and rook c8. If he's doing nothing special, then I could try to regroup pieces like this. It's all about activity of black pieces. If if it's decent, what is this? Why can't I play e5? If I move d5, I take. I think it's quite okay for me. Ah, okay, well, he, he plans to play knight e5. e5, knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, bishop f5. It can be on c2, but it can be tough at the end. Okay. 
I can also try rook c3, my favorite rook exchange. Uh, I can sacrifice, and that could be decent actually, but I don't like to do it. <laughs> he takes a five, knight he takes on e7, king e7, knight d5, I take, the bishop takes, I but there is also not so much to be afraid about. That's my feeling. Why should that be so scary? I actually can't see anything too bad here. Maybe I could have even played, played some bishop b6, but this is so much more careful. I think I'm pretty nice here. I can play some g5, but then he will have some space on h5 for his pieces. So maybe rook c5 first would be wiser. Just to keep pieces more active. It should be pretty okay. And g5, now he's under. Action on this h5 it should not be that huge. Okay, maybe I'm completely misevaluating this position. It's quite possible, but is there any real reason to worry about? Okay, maybe that was actually the blunder. Okay, he will continue. I Maybe I'm losing by force the pawn on b6, but that's too obvious how, because he has also his pawn on c4, so basically I always have a counterplay on this pawn. I think I do have my options here. Now rook e2, rook e1 is coming, then I can try to do this. He can, and probably he even should try some a6, but it's not so simple what to do next. Okay, maybe rook e is not that bad. Because I'm still trying to play for an activity. A6, I am giving checks and I'm winning on a day that seems like, like it. And he must also consider what's the effect of bishop d5. I think I can even take. That four is also coming if he does nothing special. Yeah, it should be quite nice here. Okay, and now that there is a question about f4. Is it good to me or not? I think I am not risking anything. So. I should go for it. Now he has uh, a problem because ah, yeah, this is the good move made. Ah, no, 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 no. F3 and I can take, I can take maybe F3 takes G3, takes on the seeds, G2. I win such a position. So sure, if it's a wise decision, he predates a six, g two, okay, maybe maybe I can try. I don't know. Because if I win one pawn, it's probably enough. But is it anyhow possible to win? Well, maybe it's not. Yeah, yeah what am I doing? Oh my god. 
Kabbalist in this age. Yeah, shouldn't have gone for this position. It's just a for this. I do some tubes from like this. Know how to do tubes from him, but it would be brilliant to build something like this. See anything special? His next book is coming in black, but yeah, it's probably a draw. Okay, so two two, it's a tough, tough match. No surprise. E4 didn't go too well after E5, so I think he's going to have to repeat it. Go for this. Maybe some D3 stuff now. Again, forgot what was my intention, but so that's not gonna be too promising, probably. I will play like a chicken, but it usually doesn't go that well. He probably has a lot of options, but maybe it's just. Some slightly border, let's go for it. That it can lead to some. No, but of course, it's everything under control in his case. Because the six probably is coming, that is not too well. Because most of the plans in those positions is about to, to control of to take control over d5 square and now well I gave him so many interesting options. That's the only actually positive of my play that he has a wide choice and that can be challenging sometimes. That's it everything looks so so tempting. Now I don't know I can play d4, but he can take, take and give some annoying check. So I probably should start with the castle, but then he should be pretty fine. Okay. Ah, this one. So what after d4? I'm looking at this e4 opponent. It's always a question, is it a good moment to do that or not? Okay, let's go for it. It's just a blitz game after all. Looking with a pawn, I am intending to take with a knight. But it's what is going to happen today. Not yet. Bishop E3. Could it be a good move? Let's go for it. Maybe somewhere I'm sacrificing some pawn here or there. It's tricky. Bishop b7, then I can take on e5. And if he takes on d4, I can take both knight and bishop. And there are some lines to be calculated. So maybe, maybe, okay, here, well, I should follow the plan, I believe. Unless 95 is strong and I underestimated it, it did not. Like it. 
is it for hanging? It is, unfortunately, but B5 can be hanging as well. Can be at F4, but then Queen B5. It could be some messy stuff there. Okay, this is square could be my potential target, but knight is protecting a pawn, so I should do something with knight from from f3. Knight h2 immediately. Shouldn't be that bad. I just wonder something huge. That be quite possible now. Queen b7 and I can't see any. This is not the most challenging move. I mean, he has some room to make a mistake. That's what I am hoping for. Like queen e7, knight f5. If he takes on g4, queen g4, there is some tactics in the air. Really not for long, probably, but still, it's better than nothing. Because this, okay, okay, maybe something here. No, probably not. Probably it just looked well to me, but there is nothing. Okay, uh, for 92, he can just bishop, play bishop before. Okay, so it's gonna be an equal game, probably. He takes on d1 and rook d8. So I play 92 now, f5. Better to avoid potential problems. He has his pawn on b6, so I could try to, to make a use of it, but it's rather unlikely that it can bring some fruits. Okay, probably he can take and that's very, very drawish. Now I don't like my position any longer. Is some bishop d5 somewhere working? It could be, but how to do it? I'm not so sure about it. Okay, I will play king h2. It looks like. I don't know how actually it looks. <laughs> Maybe it was just stupid. Now, with some more some more moves like this, I can be in a deep cut. So I should be really careful now. I am in a person game. that it can be that so unpleasant, but it is. Queen e6, probably then I can come back to e3 and maybe I am. Ah, okay, I completely forgot about queen d3. Go for it, but it's another question if it's luckily or not. Okay, now pawn on b6 is also hanging, but, ah, and on h4, whoa, what a surprise, maybe there is a lot of stuff hanging. Okay, he gave me at least one pawn, I can take and I can play bishop c2, and I am winning at least one pawn, according to my so-called calculations. c4, he can go, I can take. Knight d3, take, take, knight d3, knight d2, some strange position in the air. Probably I'm worse there, or much worse. The pawn is blockading. What's that? What's that? It's probably a good move. Very good now, even. I didn't understand the strength of this move. Yeah, it looks like he just overplayed me in this endgame. 
Now I'm doing badly. Yeah, he can play C4 probably. Yes, 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 yes. It's going to be total disaster. Yeah. So badly on some point. Yeah. Okay, 3 2 for him. That was really poor performance. Getting closer and closer to his target. Shall I play six again? It's not really going that well. Let's do something else. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I played that the last game really, really badly. And it's really going to be one man show if I keep on playing that bad. Okay, here he is giving two bishops, but it's a standard position. Nothing really to worry about. Just stably, stable advantage for white, but you can play forever. Maybe G6 was better. He's going to play C4 next move, but I can meet it with E5 now or later. Maybe later will be even smarter, but I should be ready for E5. Queen E5, I could go for something like this. This is, after all, maybe not that bad. Because C4 is always a question, at least. I believe so that it's a question. Maybe it's trivial for other persons. There is at least some square d4 now, and maybe I can try to orientate to play against this square or whatever it gives. Knight e5. What's going on after knight e5? totally unclear so so let's give it a try or he play queen maybe i was again a bit over a bit too optimistic about my chances in such position okay bishop c5 that should not be that bad e4 but knight e5 is a decent move I think good waiting for me there. Queen c3, I put rook e8 and not now a3, a5. Because if I would be able to trade the bishops, the dark square bishops, it would be a decent position, I believe. The question is if I am able to do that or it's not possible. There is also a problem with, uh, he allowed me to do that. I should not mind. Now I should do some two, three good moves. Don't you like a trade pair of rooks? I think one one trade should not be that bad. Now regroup somehow my forces and not to be made at an eight rank. Because mating on the head run would be painful. H5, is it good or bad? They are all putting H5s now here and there without thinking. This is what computers gave us H5 moves in every position, claiming that we are smart and it goes. He's attacking some minor pawn, but the pawn is a pawn, so I shouldn't really give it. H6, H4. Well, I don't understand the thing if he's going to this. 
Ok, mais this month, I'm now. T5 is just OK5. And after other moves, well, I shouldn't go to H4. I'm giving him a square on H4, G4, and what, what's next is an obvious. Unless I can play Queen C7 there, but he won't allow me, he will play Queen D6. So this can be a good plan, but I should somehow prepare it and I can't see how. Queen b6, queen d6, queen c7, queen d6, queen b6. This is what's happening. But okay. Queen d6, queen d6 again. Okay, let's go back then. I see nothing special. Yeah, he just advances his pawns and is probably more than right. Ah, if I lose this, it's gonna be not so funny in this match any longer. If I lose. The fight probably is coming sooner or later and I don't know what are the consequences of this move. It looks like his future is a bit brighter than mine. It's because it is such a time difference. I don't know what I am doing. I really don't know if he can even play basic, whatever. Okay, the only chance for me is now to play quicker and that's it. This is, I even didn't see he has such an option. Do have some rookie free ideas, and that's what. Ah, let's put it immediately. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Knight d5, 28, maybe. It's saving the day, but I completely forgot about this. Is there any follow up? Ah, fun. There is a pawn hanging. I completely forgot about pawn as well. It's not too good. Okay, maybe I have some chances to save it, but I just blundered the pawn and an important one. So it's going to be tougher than that now. Also with this move, when I took important square to my knight. Yeah, it's going to be not a good day at the office at the end, it seems. I don't think I was doing badly in this game, but somewhere in the process I completely lost the control. I can even play Queen F4 now and probably I'm just done after this move. Yep. He doesn't go for adventures, he just goes for simple solutions and that's just good enough. I think I'm losing even my knife now. Sooner or later. Okay, I should look for some counterplay on C5 on that. If I can make it, maybe it's not done yet, but rook A1 or something now, and it's gonna be. If he gave me some chance now, I have rook a7, knight b7 coming. So if this is coming, uh, I can say this. It actually looks heroish. Because I would probably forget that. Uh, that is some game to be to be played. Unfortunately, maybe I could have played it differently. Yeah. 
Okay, it looks like nothing can happen, but but you know, there is even a wrong bishop. It would really be like total zero. There is a fair chance that I won't spot the fact that he played a move actually because somehow I can't see it on this. Yeah. So he's trying to attack my pawn. It is simply. I think it's just a repetition so that I can give a check on it too. For no reason, of course. Okay, so still leading for him. It's going to happen. Three and a half for him. Is doing nicely. What shall I do now? Okay, let's go for some. Sicilian, he didn't play that much of Sicilians. Maybe such positions could be good for me. He's just a good player, so that's the problem. Good players, but he can always deliver some good moves. Okay, in that not very promising line for white, I have played like 200 games in uh, Rapids and Blitz. So uh, I present, I know something. This is another question. Okay, takes e5 and I can win the pawn on h6 sometimes. So I have to take it. It's actually the only trick in this line to win the pawn. But the problem is that even after winning the pawn, the position is not that clear. It's like not a poisoned pawn, but It's just a question how good it is. It looks like it should be done. You want a pawn, but actually, Black is always having some initiatives there. So you are both happy and unhappy after winning this pawn. I look quite for now. So even some G5 can be a good move. Okay, but one is a pawn, I shouldn't cry about it. Actually, some people are saying that I'm always crying when playing those blitz matches. So let's try not to cry. Is D4 good? Or I should first try to protect some of my other pieces. I just free now. I just free, it was decent. I just free, it's like a decent move. Now everything seems quite protected. I'm trying to organize something. Okay, rook t1. Is there any tactics? 
was through 81 he takes on A2 and well, he took, that's it. And through 51, I see nothing special yet, so. But there can be some tactics. In those positions, you must be always very careful and to, to, to blunder something. My next move is probably win E1 if nothing happens. States, maybe I am not losing anything. Queen D1. He wants to say, okay, but now if he takes on A2, I have D files. So maybe, maybe I do have something. I also don't see what it could be, but. His knight on e2 is also, on e7 is also not too strong. You know, see it is well placed, that's the problem. Knight c1, knight d3, and he goes. Ah, surely it's something like h3 and g4. That would be nice. Let's go. D4, and if he plays G5, I do play Knight G3, Knight F5. He also will do the same, but okay, we can take, and I can maybe play Queen H4, but it's not here, so maybe Rook A1. No, no, should do there. So take maybe King H2 first, then Queen comes to D3. Ah, so Rook D2, maybe it's a decent thing. Ah, but now he goes Knight to A5. But in the end game, his one structures is better, so I can potentially be just worse in the end game, but how can I avoid it? I can't see it. Yeah, Knight C8, Knight D6 is coming to Baku. Knight c1, why I didn't play that? That's a good question, but it's not changing that much. What's the difference actually in the position? There are some differences, but I don't get what, the, what it's all about. I hope I won't lose it. Maybe I'm losing it after b5. No, b5, bishop c5 is still. I think my was it a good check? I don't know. <laughs> I am really trying to lose this bishop. I'm really trying to lose him. Before I wanted, but knight b8 and I am done, so maybe the knight f2. To be honest, I have no idea who is playing on win or who is not, but. Do something because of the match situation. Basically, it when you're playing. Maybe B5, I'm just lost, but let's keep on blundering. Okay, let's play B4. Something should happen finally in this strange game. Somehow, I could have played knight f3. I didn't say it. Because I should somehow attack the, the pawn from e5. If I can win it, it's, it's just another day, another game. 
I don't know what he's not in K5, I'm sure he's going to do it. I am forced to take. Strange to me. He is playing it safely, and that's probably quite wise. Strange situation. Maybe I still can look for some options how to fight him. Difficult to fight when you have no teeth, but. Nothing else left. Promises that much, but ninety-five, some eighty-five, maybe if it would happen. Maybe I could mate him somehow with King on this six, but to be honest, it's just a dream. Mates with a pawn. Can I skip out? Try to beat him. Pawn is a but now my bishop is going to behind. Otherwise, he would play some knight of three, so. It can be slightly unpleasant now for him. I my chances now. Actually, put it's nice, but it's not. Any chance to win it? For my opponent, what it means. I have some time, and it's over. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't. So what's the score? I think I'm done, yes? I think it's just, the, 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 I can't see the overall score, but since it was the game number seven, I believe it's four and a half, two and a half. So I should say goodbye. Thank you for watching this. It was a nice experience, but it's on the other hand, a shame that I lost in this position where I can be actually winning. I don't know, it should be calculated, but I believe I am just, uh, having good chances here. So thank you for your time. Thank you for having this uh, experience and, and that's it. And that's... Uh... Thank you very much. Thank you for having an opportunity to play and we are in touch about some other uh, 